Merci, Gabby. Merci, tout le monde. I'm very, very excited to be here tonight. And I want to tell you that I have been at every one of the World Water Forums. I was in The Hague for the first one, the first one where the public was allowed to come. And we just, some of us just decided to go there and try to find each other. We weren't organized. We would meet in drafty rooms and drafty halls. It was cold. Uh, and we would just come up in, in different sessions and just challenge uh, the powers that be. But we were not very organized. By the next one, which was in Kyoto, we were much more organized. And we came into one of the sessions with little uh, bells that would ring. They were little lie, lie meters. And if they lied a little bit, that we would ring the bell a little bit. And if they lied more, we, we, we'd ring the bell more. And at one point, when Kandasu, uh, the former head of the uh, International Monetary Forum, was giving a, a, an economic statement on, on public funding for, for private finance, we really rang, rang a lot of bells. And he said, I hear your bells. I will not stop speaking. So we went from that to Mexico City, and that in Mex by Mexico City, they were big. They were 20,000, but we were beginning to have our own events. Our, we had our own alternative forum. We had a march with 15,000 people. By Istanbul, they had 25,000 people, and we, but we were so powerful by then. We were so organized that they had to have water cannons. What a beautiful image to take care of our protests. And here we find ourselves in Marseille, and their event is pathetic. It's pathetic. I don't know if you've been over there, but it's, it doesn't have any heart. It doesn't have the soul that we're finding here tonight. It's a lost organization. It's a lost institution. The World Water Forum is coming to an end. They represent the wrong things. They represent the wrong analysis and ideology. They pretend to be the United Nations, but they're not. It's a fraud. It's a great big trade show for big corporations. And it's incredibly important that we say out loud, this should be the very last World Water Forum put on by the World Bank and the, and the Water Corporation. The last, it should never happen again. And I'm not alone, a man named Laurent Chabert-Dier, who's on the board of the World Water uh, Council, just said yesterday as well, this is an illegitimate body and he will have no more to do with it. This is someone who's been supporting it for, for many years. This is time for us to take our power. I've watched as we have grown in power, as we have become a powerful movement globally. We've come together, the global water justice movement. We are taking municipal water services back. We are fighting privatization all over the world. We're fighting markets where they convert licenses to water markets and they uh, then buy and sell water on the open, open exchange. We're fighting that. We're fighting land grabs and water grabs. We are fighting successfully. We've had uh, wonderful plebiscites and referendums in Italy and Uruguay and many parts of the world. This is our turn. They have proven, their model has been proven wrong and it is our turn. And it, I, I have to say very, very strongly that the struggle for the recognition of the human right to water and sanitation at the United Nations was a very strong and long struggle. We didn't think it would happen when it did. Um, to shame to countries like my own, Canada and others that can, did and continue to oppose uh, the human right to water and sanitation. It's because of the hard work of the communities and the people and the water justice movement and the water warriors around the world that the United Nations was forced to recognize the human right to water and sanitation. The next struggle coming up, several people have talked about it tonight, is going to be the move to commodify every single living piece of nature. Every tree, every, uh, every fish, uh, every, every part of nature, every watershed, uh, they're going to dig into the ground as, as far and hard as they can to get access to the raw resources of our earth. And now they're passing a new form of trade agreement. Canada is in a negotiation with Europe where they have the right to permanently have access to resources in other countries 
uh, and if you change your mind or bring any environmental rules in, they can actually sue for compensation. This is how capitalism, as it's been described here, is held together by these trade agreements and by international institutions. But they don't have the power that we have. We are here to say, and we will be in Rio, to say that we are the people, we are the movement that ha whose time has come. Uh, they, their model has failed, our model is the one emerging. We say that no one owns water. We say that it belongs to the earth, it belongs to all species, it belongs to future generations. It is a common heritage, a public trust, and a human right. We will never give up the fight for water justice. We are uh, always strong. We are ready. Nous sommes forts. Nous sommes prêts. Nous n'abandonnerons jamais notre lutte pour la justice. Merci.